What's up YouTube, it's Carolina Calvin coming back to you with another video. In this video, I want to talk about my pick for the NBA 2017 Finals and just the state of the NBA and how the playoffs went, what I think. Uh, I feel like a big majority of, of people, how the playoffs went now, at least the people I follow on Twitter when they talk about the playoffs, it's not good. It's just playoffs wasn't good, but I'm going to get into that. Keys to, keys to victory for the finals. Both teams start with the Warriors. Clay needs to show up. He hasn't. He's been really inconsistent in the playoffs. And Steph needs. You know, he's played well in the playoffs, but the last two finals haven't been great. He's definitely going to have to play better uh, in terms of just the way he's played in the last couple of finals. And. What lineup are they going to go with? I, I feel as though you know, their most successful lineup is with you know, Draymond at the five, Durant at the four, um, Eagle Dollar at the three, because I see him guarding LeBron a lot. They're gonna, it's going to be between um, Eagle Dollar and Kevin Durant. You may even see Matt Barnes in there um, during spots in the game guarding LeBron, You know, just to switch up different guys guarding LeBron. You're going to see probably at least two or three guys guarding LeBron. It's going to be Durant, Eagle Dollar. Eagle Dollar is going to be the main guy because he defended him. The, uh, the main, he's been the main guy defending him the last couple of finals. He wasn't he entirely healthy last year, but he's much healthier this year. So maybe he'll have a little more success. But, um, you know, LeBron's going to do – he's going to get his numbers. He's going to get his numbers. Um, Clay at the two and, of course, Curry at the one. This lineup you're gonna see a lot of. This lineup is really hard to defend. They've been crushing teams when they had this lineup, just because you have got all five of your guys can shoot, all five of your guys can handle the ball. At least you know Clay being the worst ball handler out of them, but he is a guy who can uh, handle the ball. He can create his own shot. All these guys can create their own shots, and defensively they you know they can switch on a lot of the stuff. They you know with guys who can move their feet well, quicker guys you can. Defend the three pointer, which you know that's what the Cavs kind of want to do. It's going to be LeBron, Kyrie, kind of creating. And you got guys like Corver, you got Kevin Love, uh, Shannon Fry, J.R. Smith, guys who can spot up and uh, shoot threes. You know, Warriors can defend that well with that lineup. And of course, you're going to see you, them using the traditional big with uh, JaVale McGee, Zaza Pachulia, and whatnot. But I feel as though the small ball lineup is what's Honestly, going to be the deciding factor how well these guys play in terms of that lineup. Obviously, I can talk, you know, you can talk about both teams with the benches, you know, with the bench. You always want your role players outplay the other team's role players. And I feel as though that, that definitely is a factor, but it's something for both teams. But biggest one, how the you know, small ball lineup plays, Clay and Eagle Dollar. These are the two guys I feel as though are a kind of dark horses. Like I said, Clay has not played well in the playoffs as a whole. But if he gets hot in this finals with the way Durant's been playing, Durant's played well when he's been out there healthy. Uh Curry, like I said, Curry's played well. And Draymond's been doing his thing. You know, he's gonna he's a guy who's gonna defend. He's gonna do pretty much everything. He's gonna get the rebounds. He's gonna get the assists. You know, he he is a guy who is a threat shooting the ball. So he's you know he's not gonna put up big numbers, but he's doing what he's been doing all season. You know, playing like that like kind of that all around game. He, and he's carried that over into the playoffs. He's played well. Clay shows up, and let's say, you know, he gets near season averages, or you know, he gets some games where he gets hot. As a guy who's he gets hot, he won't miss. He hits all kind of shots, no matter what the defense. He gets hot. This is gonna be a very short series. Very short series. <clears throat> um, for the Cavs, like I said, I already talked about bench. I feel as though specifically for the Cavs, they need their role players outplay the Golden State uh, Warriors role players to kind of make up for you know the amount of points that a team can put up. They they definitely need you know your, your Kyle Corver. They need the guy to play well. They need J.R. Smith to play well. But I think one of the biggest ones they need Kevin Love to play well. 
They can't have him playing the way he played in last year's finals and hope to win. You, you just can't because, you know, you're looking at last year's finals. Clay and Curry didn't play well for the most part in that finals, and especially in game seven in, you know, in that fourth quarter. They didn't play well. So they're going to need those. They're going to need those guys to play well. I'm sorry. They're going to need Kevin Love to play well. You know, despite that, they were still able to win last year. But if if Curry would have played, made a few more shots, if Clay would have made a few more shots, uh, Curry had some turnovers, and of course you had Harrison Barnes who didn't play well. You replace him with Durant, who can make up for if those guys play bad. They're gonna need Kevin Love to play well, out of more so than any of the other guys I mentioned, like your J.R. Smith and some of these other role players. They need. Kevin Love, who's a third option. I feel as though Kyrie, LeBron are going to play well. But you need Kevin Love to play well. And this is a, this is kind of a tough matchup for him. Especially if the Warriors decide to go with a small ball lineup. It's, it's going to be a tough matchup because he's going to he's gonna have to guard a guy who's probably quicker than him. Who is going to uh, be able to shoot the three. Who can get out in transition. So it's going to be tough for him. A guy who's not known as a really good defender. To be able to guard the small ball lineup, so it'd be interesting to see how much he can be in the game. Um, you know, he's definitely gonna have to play. Like I said, he's gonna have to produce more so than he did last year's finals. They can get the Celtics, Kevin Love combined with you know LeBron and Roy Kyrie playing. They definitely got a good chance of winning this series. Also, how would they defend that small ball lineup? You know, I mentioned that where we see Richard Jefferson. I think you're gonna see Iman Shumpert. Uh, because you know he's been playing good defense on Steph Curry. I think you're gonna see him a lot. You're gonna probably see Richard Jefferson in there as well, guarding Durant. Um, also you're gonna have LeBron guarding Durant, but they don't want LeBron exclusively guarding Durant. You know, similar how to how I said they don't want Kevin Durant exclusively guarding LeBron. That's why they got a guy like Iguodala. That's why they got a guy like Matt Barnes who can come in there and spots and just play defense. You know, they got fouls to give. Um, and you know. They'll, of course, have more energy because the requirements for Durant to score. Same thing with LeBron. You know, he has to do a lot of different things. So, having to guard that small ball lineup, we'll see how they do it. How they, you know, what rotations they, they they have, what players play more minutes or whatnot, and Kevin Love stepping up. Those are some. Those to me are the keys. Who I pick to win? I have Golden State in six. I just feel as though I think Clay's gonna have a good series. And he hasn't played well in the entire playoffs, but I think this series he's gonna have a good series. I think Clay and Steph are gonna play better than they did in the last two finals. Like I said, Curry's coming in already playing well. You combine that with Durant. It a lot of people just because of that, like Clay is a big what if because he's so inconsistent. A lot of people say just because of that, they got it in five. I'll get the Cavs too. I'll get the Cavs too. And you know, like I said, anything can happen. Anything can happen. We saw last year, Cavs down three one, came back to win. So obviously anything can happen. It's just a prediction. But I do have the Warriors in six. Let's play uh, NBA Finals aside. Let's talk about how the playoffs went. The Warriors have not lost the game. The Cavs have lost one. And I feel as though that one game they lost, LeBron played awful. And they really went into that game was like coasting. They went into that game coasting. You watched the game, they went to that game coasting, and the Boston Celtics got hot. Honestly, I don't feel as though they, if they would have came in with the same mindset that they were coming in with the, some of those other games in the Eastern Conference playoffs, they would easily won, even despite how hot uh, Boston got. So... And even then, it took a, it took a, you know, LeBron had, what, 11 points that game? And it still took a Avery Bradley shot for them to win for the Celtics, despite Marcus Smart hitting seven threes. But uh, playoffs have been terrible. Garbage. Two, there have been two seven-game series. You know, the Wizards, I would say the Wizards, the two best series in the playoffs um, I did like the Memphis, uh, the Memphis Spurs series. Definitely was a lot better than I thought it would have been coming into it. I thought it was going to be a sweep. Um, the Wizards, Celtic series was good. 
and the Clippers Jazz series and see what hurts the Clippers Jazz series injury to Blake Griffin, which at this point is starting to become a normal thing. Um, he's going to be gone anyway. He's not going to be in the Clippers uniform, in my opinion. So you know, the injury to Blake Griffin, the injury to Ruby, Rudy Gobert really hurt that series to me in terms of entertainment. You're missing, you know, uh, one of it, both teams are missing their star, you know, one of their star players. And, you know, but even despite that, it was still an entertaining series, very competitive. Uh, Celtics was a series, definitely, because those teams don't like each other. And I think that's what makes a really enjoyable series. And you, know, you saw guys get suspended. So guys, uh, you know, tech, bunch of technical fouls. Game got real physical. I like that series. To me, I would say, but, but here's the problem. The games, when when the Celtics, well, okay, when the Wizards weren't at home, they played very poorly. You know, a lot of those games, they got beaten down real bad. Um, they, there were some close games, um, mainly, but mainly when they were in Washington. So I, I think that's what the series isn't as good as a lot of people are saying, but it is to me the probably the best series just because of how physical and you know, you, I guess you can consider it somewhat of a rivalry. It's the most we can get out of a rivalry um, nowadays, but it's good to see one that teams you know there is a, two teams that have a rivalry because that's just something that's almost non-existent now with a, with teams like uh, Golden State and. Cleveland pretty much dominating the playoffs. Cle- um, on the Golden State side, between their runs, Blazers had um, Jokic. He was injured um, against the Jazz. Paul George, who I don't think is that good, but you know he got hurt. But I didn't think it would have mattered. I think that was going to be a sweep anyway. But the big one was the Spurs. The Spurs should have at least won one game. If Kawhi plays, they win. But he gets hurt completely destroys any chance that uh, the Spurs had because the guy he was defending was cooking, and that's Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant was putting up 30 points a game, and you know the best defender for him, one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, best defenders overall, and Kawhi Leonard was injured. So it pretty much made it a cakewalk in that series. You, know, uh, you, can just, you just couldn't expect LaMarcus Aldridge to really carry them. You know, he, he had his games, but let's just say he's, he, he's a really soft player. But it just how the playoffs is you know, playoffs have not been they were they were garbage. A lot of blowouts, man. There were a lot of blowouts. And then even in the series that went beyond five, you know, series that went six, you know, you had some blowout games. Look at the Spurs Rockets game six. Garbage. The Rockets didn't even show up for that game. You know, I made a video talking about that. You had series, you know, games where these guys just mailed it in, got completely wrecked. And that's your 2016, 2017, well, 2017 playoffs, I'm sorry. And it sucked. Now Adam Silver coming out saying, oh, that, you know, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, uh, I guess the competitive, you know, competitiveness of the league or whatever he fucking said about, you know, uh, in terms of competition level, it's been garbage. You know, you got Durant who's joining teams that won that wins over seventy, that win seventy three games. Uh, LeBron's recruiting all these guys. They got these guys got the teams they wanted. Now you got a rematch between teams we expected last year, or we expected at the end of last season to come back into this finals. Who between the two teams have lost one fucking playoff game. One team gets a. Bunch of you know the teams they play with get a bunch of fucking injuries. The other team plays cupcakes. Celtics one of the worst number one seeds I've ever seen. You know, in the time I've watched basketball, they were a good team. I'll give them that, but they had so many glaring issues with the team. Your your top score is five nine. Your top score is five nine. Now, Isaiah Thomas is ball. He bought out this year, but it's just not a good you know. He doesn't match up well against that Cleveland team. Toronto Raptors, fool's goal every single year. Uh, Wizards, awful on the road, awful. Most of the games on the road, they got beat down. Uh, Milwaukee had injuries. You know, they're still a team up and coming. Uh, who, who else is going to? Uh, the Bulls. The fuck? I'm a Bulls fan. They shouldn't have made the playoffs. Team was garbage. 
playoffs have been this, this year's playoffs is garbage. And I want to know I want to know the ratings. What did what did the ratings look like as we went on to the to the playoffs, especially uh, watching the Western Conference? I want to know what the ratings were. You know, you, you still got the fans who only follow a specific player, blah, 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 whatever. You know, you still got those fans. that They enjoy it. But as a person who wants to see good games, wants to see competitive games, seeing all these blowouts, it's just boring. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Who do you have winning in the NBA Finals uh, and how many games? And what do you think about the state of the NBA and how the playoffs went? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button subscribe. Thanks for watching.